Okay, we're gonna simplify radicals. And when we say simplify radicals, another way to say that is breaking down radicals. So sometimes I say, let's break down the radical, and sometimes I say, let's simplify it. And when we simplify, we're looking at prime numbers that go into the radicand. So we've got a radical sign, the number inside is called the radicand, and then if there's a number in that section right there, it's called the index. Now, when there is no number, we know that these are square roots. So a square root is looking for pairs. For instance, the square root of 25, we know is five. And that's because 25 breaks down to be five times five. So a square root is looking for pairs. So we have a pair of fives, the five comes to the outside, there's nothing left over because both of the numbers inside the radicand were part of a pair. Therefore, our answer is just five. Well, what happens when there are leftovers? We're gonna do that here. So we're gonna take 175 and we're going to put it in a box. And we're gonna look at the prime numbers. Prime numbers, <laughs> prime numbers are, Two, three, five, seven. Any number that has exactly two distinct factors, exactly two distinct factors. So two, three, five, seven. Eight has more than just eight and one. It has two and four. Nine has three and three, so it is not prime. 10 has two and five, so it is not prime. But 11 is just 11 and one. And then 13 is just 13 and one. And then 14, 15, 16, 17 is just 17 and one, and so on and so forth. So we start with two. Does two go into 175? It does not. So then we go to the next prime number, three. Three goes into 175, absolutely not. How do I know three does not go into 175? Because one plus seven plus five is 13. To see if three goes into a number, you add up the sum of the digits, you find the sum of the digits. If three goes into that sum, then three goes into the number. Three does not go into 13, so three's not going to go into 175. However, five does. I know for a fact five does because when a number ends in zero or five, five is a factor. So five goes into 17 three times with two left over. Five times three is 15. 17 minus 15 has that remainder of two. So I put that little two right here. And now instead of saying five goes into five, I say five goes into 25. Five goes into 25 five times. So then I put a little box around 35 because it is not prime. And I continue with five until I can't use five anymore. So I say, does five go into 35? Indeed it does. Five goes into 35 seven times. Seven is a prime number, so I do not put a box around it. So the square root of 75 is the same thing as the square root of five times five times seven. Now, I have a pair of fives, so the five comes to the outside. One from the pair goes to the outside and my leftovers stay inside the radical. So the square root of 175 becomes five times the square root of seven, and that's how we say that. Five times the square root of seven. Okay, we're gonna come back in the next video and we're going to do a few more problems.